Topaz Labs have done it again. Sharpen AI gets an update. This is version 3.0. Now with a completely new AI engine. Hopefully the performances will be sped up. This is a first look. We're going to find out. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'm excited about this uh, tutorial today or this first look I should say of the new Sharpen AI. Now there was just recently a Sharpen AI update but this is a big update. This has an all new AI engine and some different features inside of uh, Sharpen AI and we're going to look at those features and we'll be working on this soft image today. I'm only interested in this one flower right here. All these other flowers are out of focus due to the uh, focal length of my lens, but this flower is soft and I want him in focus. Let me go ahead and zoom into that flower so you can actually see it. You can see it's really out of focus. Now I'm zoomed into 200%. Let's even go into 300% and see what we got. But you can see it's really out of focus. I'm going to uh, run this into Sharpen AI. We're going to do some masking inside of Sharpen AI. I haven't really done much of that, and I'm going to show you how we can mask right in Sharpen AI. But you're going to see all the new features, and we'll see if the performance has sped up for us on the final output of the image. I think you might be surprised. Well, hang in there. We're going to check it out right now. Let me give you a little background before I launch Sharpen AI. Uh, this image originally was shot at ISO 2500, so it's very noisy. So you can see what the image looks like right here. Very noisy. I ran it into Topaz Denoise AI, which also had an update with a completely new AI engine as well. And I'll be doing another video on that, but I want to do Sharpen AI first. Anyway, after I ran uh, this image into Topaz Denoise AI, I went ahead and duplicated that layer and renamed it Topaz Sharpen AI because now we're going to send it into Topaz Sharpen AI and we will get to work. I'm going to set this back to fit screen here and we're going to come up to filter and now let's uh, launch Topaz Sharpen AI and we'll get started. And check out the new splash screen. It's really cool with this little bird here and it loads up pretty quick. Now I'm in the uh, side by side view which was the last uh, view I used and it remembers your last view. I'll show you how to get to the other views. You get to those other views right up here. See where it says view. You have single view, split view, side side-by-side -side view and the comparison view. Now some like to use the comparison view. I generally like to use the side-by-side -side view because when you're in the side-by-side -side view you can put on the image quality auto selector and it'll determine what it thinks that your sharpness uh, problem is. Uh, was it in focus from the camera but it just needs some capture sharpening because it's, it was a camera raw file and it always comes in a little soft or was it out of focus because you missed the focus on your camera lens or did you have some motion blur due to image uh, stabilization a little bit of camera movement well in this auto mode it will determine what it thinks is the proper one to use and you'll notice Sharpen AI's picked motion blur for me because it thinks I have a stabilization problem where I had some camera shake. I'm going to go ahead and move this flower into the center of the uh, preview window. It'll update itself here. And I'm going to let this happen in real time so you can see how long it takes to generate this preview. It's, it's relatively quick. Now let's take a look at some changes to the interface. Motion blur, this used to be called stabilize. And then we have out of focus. This used to be called focus. And the next one is called too soft, which used to be called sharpen. That was just the basic sharpening. And so the names have been changed, but the functions are just what they used to be. They're identical. But now we come to some new buttons. We have a normal button, a very noisy button, and a very blurry button. When the normal button is selected, it is just like using the previous versions of a uh, Sharpen AI. The very noisy button is designed to help you with images that have that little extra noise that you just can't get rid of. It's going to help you out with those type of images. And lastly, we have the very blurry button. Now, if your image just needs that little extra something, that little extra sharpening, that's what the very blurry button is for. And I'll show you that here shortly because we're going to need it on this image. These three buttons can be used with any one of these uh, different types of 
blur correction motion blur out of focus or too soft you can combine these other buttons with those so that's kind of nice and this is all new stuff so i like the way uh, sharpen ai is going i like this new direction i'm going to go ahead and zoom into 200 percent so we can get up close and personal with this image here we'll give it a second to update here okay so that's what it looks like now it has chosen motion blur so let me Pull the suppressed noise back. Now, just because Sharpen AI suggests something doesn't mean I'm going to use it. And I won't. the only reason I'm pulling suppressed noise back is because I've already denoised it. So let me take the blur. I don't think it's uh, correct yet. So I'm going to take the remove blur and move it the whole way up to the right and see if this thing gets any better. And give it a second to update. This is all real time. Yeah, now that looks a lot better. So it needs more or needed more sharpening. And it's okay. Let me pull this down. Now, the top portion of this flower is going to be the sharpest, like these three petals up here. These guys down here were just out of the focal, focal plane here, so they're going to be a little out. But that's not bad with the blur up the whole way. Let's try, uh, let's try out of focus. Let's see what it does here. It's in the auto settings mode here. Give it a second to update. And you can see it down here updating, right? Now, look, that's getting wonky. That's doing some weird things in here, so I don't like that. Let's try too soft. I wouldn't think too soft would be the issue because I usually get camera shake issues, okay? And yeah, that's not doing very well here, but let's try something here. Let's take uh, the remove blur and let's pull it up more. And let's pull that suppress noise back because we don't need to uh, suppress noise because we've already taken care of that problem. Now, I don't see any difference here, right? It may look a little sharper than the image on the left. But let's try something. Let's try this very blurry button. I'm going to go ahead and click it and we'll let it update itself and check it out. Look at that. That's pretty darn good. I think that is a really, really uh, great uh, change in the image. Couldn't find the words there. Let me move over here. So let's let it update. But look how sharp it is. This area in here, up in here. And as I said, down here. This area is out of focus, and it is uh, it is out of focus here, but you know what? I don't like how uh, Sharpen AI is handling this edge here. So we're going to use the uh, masking tool to correct that problem, and down here. So now I want to come down to the bottom right-hand side of the interface and click Mask. Selectively sharpen your image, all right? And if you'll recall, also I said the only part I want in focus on this image is the top three petals of this flower right in here a little bit and maybe this portion of the uh, stem area right in here. But I don't want any focus on here or here. So this petal, this petal, this petal, and right in the center here. I'm going to change my zoom from 200% back to a 100% here. All right, and so now I can see more for what I want to paint on here. Now, I want to be in the add mode. I just want to add it to certain areas like this pedal, this pedal, and this pedal, okay? It was doing a little update there. And uh, we can change our radius size down here of our brush, and we can change the softness amount here and the opacity. I want full opacity on this brush. And uh, we have different options down here. We have fill, invert, clear, and, and delete. And I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And basically what I, what I want to do is add this area, this area. So I'm just painting over this. I can be really loose here. It doesn't really matter because I've already denoised this image. So maybe right up into here like so. Make sure I get all the edges here. Get this edge. And that little spill out there doesn't matter because everything is blurry there anyway. And let's see, let me get out of this overlay mode here so we can actually see what has happened. See, now it's only added the focus there. Now I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to pull back on my radius. And I just want to paint right on this little section right in here. See what we get. Yeah, so I just want to bring that back in focus. And that's really all I need. So now all I have to do is click Apply the Mask, and that'll apply the mask. And we'll give it a second here to update. And now it's updated and you'll see that this area is in focus here and here, right in here and right down there. And I am good to go. Now all I need to do is click apply and this will send us back into Photoshop. I'm not speeding up the recording and I normally do that because it would take so long. It would take about a minute 10 to 15 seconds to do it. I'm timing this so I'll let you know the actual elapsed time it takes. 
And uh, so far, it looks like it's going pretty quick, and I'm really happy with it so far. We're almost there. And we're back in Photoshop, and we got here in 20.36 seconds, as, the, as opposed to my normal one minute and about 15 to 20 seconds. I have an iMac machine, and let me just show you here uh, the specs of my machine. It's an i9 processor, 8-core. Um, I have 32 gigs of RAM in here. Um, Radeon Pro Vega 48, 8 gigabyte uh, graphics. And so that's basically it. So, But you saw that in real time. So 20.36 seconds. Pretty amazing. And all I have in focus is this flower. These three leaves right here, or petals I should say, not leaves. And a bit of the stem right here. Now, let me go ahead and zoom in so we can really see it here. So let me zoom in to, I'm at 200% right here. And I'll show you the before and after so you can really see it. Now remember, I use masking in uh, Sharpen AI to not apply it to these pedals down here. But I just have it applied to this pedal, this pedal, this pedal, this center section, and on this uh, stem area back in here, or the back of the flower right here. And here is the before. And as you can see, it is extremely out of focus. Now, remember, I use the new Too Soft mode, which used to be called Sharpen. And I used that new very blurry button and ended up with this. I'm really happy with this. So I really highly recommend try all the different modes. Try those new buttons out. Experiment. And I'm sure you're going to be happy with this new version. Well, there it is, everyone. Sharpen AI gets a big update. This is version 3.0, a new AI engine. It's a lot faster. We have some new features in there, like the very blurry feature that I showed you today, the very noisy feature, which gets rid of extra noise in your image if you need it. Um, but it's really cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing. <laughs>